Good morning and welcome to this week's assembly. I hope you're all okay and you've had a good week so far. We are going to be continuing our theme of stories from the book of Acts and today we are going to be thinking about the celebration of Pentecost. Now sometimes we call Pentecost the birthday of the church because it's when the Christian church started. And what do we get at birthdays? Presents. Now I've got a few presents here and I wonder if you can guess what might be inside each of these presents. So this one is, it's, it's quite big, uh, it's quite soft and squishy. Mm, doesn't make a noise. Any guesses what that one might be? Let's have a look. It is a teddy. Well done if you guessed that one right. Okay, this one. Oh, this one is it's a bit squishy. Um, it's a rectangle shape. I wonder what that one could be. Any guesses? Let's have a look, see if you're right. It is a book. Well done if you got that present right. Okay, we've got another one here. This one is also squishy, but not quite as squishy as the teddy. Doesn't make a noise either, really. Mm. Any thoughts on what that one could be? Let's have a look. is some clothes so well done if you got that one and last one to guess oh it's quite big makes a good noise wonder what that one could be should we have a look let's have a look oh this one is a game so well done if you got any of those presents right and it's exciting isn't it when it's our birthday or christmas to get presents and at pentecost we also remember a gift a present that the disciples received and it was the gift of the holy spirit and last year I recorded a video for Pentecost. So we're going to watch that video and find out what happened at the first Pentecost. On the day of Pentecost, 10 days after Jesus went back to be with his Father in heaven, all of Jesus' friends were meeting together in one place. Suddenly, there was a sound like the roaring of a mighty windstorm and it filled the house where they were sitting. Then what looked like flames of fire appeared and settled on each of them. And everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit, the special gift from God. They began speaking in other languages. They couldn't speak all these languages before. The Holy Spirit gave them the gift of speaking in all these different languages. Some people nearby heard the loud noise and they wanted to know what was going on. So they all came running. They were amazed to hear the disciples speaking in their own languages. How can this be, they said. We're from all over the place and we all speak different languages. But these people are speaking in our own languages about all the wonderful things that God has done. They stood there amazed and they didn't understand at all. But some people didn't think it was amazing. They thought Jesus' friends had had too much wine. So one of Jesus' friends stood up in front of the people and he spoke to them. 
He told them they hadn't had too much wine. It was only nine o'clock in the morning. He told them that a long, long time ago, one of God's messengers had said that this amazing thing would happen. The special messenger called Joel told the people that God would send his special gift, the Holy Spirit, on all his people. Peter carried on talking and he told them all about Jesus, all about the wonderful things that he had done, all about him dying on a cross, all about how he didn't stay dead, but that he rose again from the tomb. He told them all about how Jesus went back to be with his father in heaven, to reign with him. And he told them all about the wind, the fire and the languages, the special gift of the Holy Spirit that God had sent to be with them. Peter told the people that Jesus was Lord and Saviour. All the people listened carefully to Peter's message and they wanted to know more. They asked Peter, what should we do? And Peter told them to say sorry for the things that they had done and turn to following God. Loads of people did turn to God and lots of people were baptised on that day. 3,000 people in all. It was amazing. Can you imagine being one of those first disciples at Pentecost? How would it have felt as you heard the sound of the wind and you saw the flames on each other and on yourself and you were able to speak in so many different languages? What would that have felt like? It was an amazing day as the Holy Spirit, the special gift from God came upon the disciples and he gave them courage and power to do amazing things, some of which we have looked at so far in our series in Acts. Now I have one more gift here and the label says for you. So let's open this gift and see what is inside. It says the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not just a gift for the disciples. Way back on that very first Pentecost, such a long time ago in a country really far away. But the gift of the Holy Spirit from God is for each one of us. We can have the same power from the Holy Spirit that those first disciples had. We can have it living inside of us and we can have courage and power just like the disciples did. And we can know that because of the gift of the Holy Spirit, we are never alone. God is always with us. So I'd like you to take a moment to think about the story of Pentecost and think about the Holy Spirit and how this story makes you feel. And then I'm gonna pray. Dear God, thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Thank you that it is a gift for all of us and that we can know that we are not alone because you are always with us by your Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a great week, everybody, and I hope you have a really fun half term next week, and I will see you after half term for another assembly.